All right, guys, and welcome back to the Windows Tech Channel. And tonight, well, I actually got another eBay package to show you. Um, this one I actually made unannounced, and well, the Dell Vostro video I kind of also did unannounced, but um, yeah, that was because I kind of took a little hiatus and whatnot, which was actually unbeknownst to me until I got um, until I got back. Just like <laughs> no, no, um, until I uploaded the video on like Wednesday, I think. Or, yeah, like, Wednesday morning-ish. Anyway, um, I also want to let y'all know that I all, I got two more PCs from them today, and it might be my final set, because, um, I'm actually leaving at the end of the month. So, um, I'll cover those pretty soon, but, um, I need to acquire those PCs recovering to use, because, yes, they are more ThinkPads, no, ThinkPads, um, the number of desktops, but they are actually in the Slimline Think Center models, and, uh, you guys will be seeing which ones I'm talking about um, when I when I get those um, recovery mediums. But anyways, um, what I wanted to show you guys today is a little bit similar to the Windows NT 4.0 and Windows 95 videos. And that I got another physical release of Windows in the mail today. And this one's a little bit, like, rare in a way. So, let's bring it in real quick. So this is a copy of Windows 8. Yes, Windows 8, not Windows 8.1. And this was, uh, and this was actually bought by another owner, which they bought it three days after the operating system, like, dropped to the public. This released in October 2012, October 26 to be specific. And, well, let's just say that Windows 8 is basically a massive, like, upgrade from Windows 7. Which, yes, um, I am going to be doing a in-place upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 8. Kind of to just to show you guys um, how this would have been if you bought the OS in 2012. Anyways, so you have the front here which slides out and it actually makes a pretty cool uh, <laughs> cool piece of art there. Anyway, system requirements are right here. And then there is um, the product thing up here. And Windows reimagined. So that's basically what some of this is. All right, so let's see what you would get in the box. Obviously, this is the entirety of the uh, box here. There's, it's nothing too special. All right, so here you have a welcome post here, or card. Here's your getting started guide, which is kind of a, which is kind of simplistic, but hey, what can I expect? And we have the 32-bit disc. And honestly, this looks pretty similar to what Microsoft is um, making today. In fact, did you guys know that there is actually a um, DVD release of Windows 11? Like, I find it all over eBay, and from what I can tell, you might actually need that to, no, no. You might actually need to, like, request it from Microsoft, since you can't find it in store. And the 64-bit disc, which I believe we are going to be utilizing this disc right here for the Vostro um, 270, which, yes, I, I keep on mixing up the, yeah, I keep on mixing that up and calling it the 720. Don't know why. And... On this card here, as you can tell by that little key symbol, this contains the product key. Of course, I'm going to have to cover it up. Don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that, but yeah, oh, because it wasn't even focused. So, I think with all that out of the way, let us turn on the Dell Vostro, and we will get this upgrade underway. All right, so here we are on the Dell Vostro 270 desktop, and we are about to put in the Windows 8 64-bit DVD, and I'm also going to have the product key nearby. Flip it over. 
All right, let's uh, put it in the possible drive. All right, so auto run should come up here and we're going to uh, hit run setup exe. And UAC is gonna come up. All right, and now the setup should load. Again, this is how it would be in um, 2012 if you had just came home with a copy of um, Windows 8. And this is Windows 8 Pro, so of course the price is definitely going to be a lot more expensive than the home edition, if you will. And all right, it is almost done preparing and about ready to start the setup. Yes, it will take a while, even though we're on an SSD here. Oh, here we are. So we're going to get the latest updates real quick. I always check, I wanna help make Windows installation better. All right, so now I need to put in the product key and notice how next is grayed out. So we cannot skip this. All right, so now that the product key is Valid, I can go ahead and put the key back in its slot. And we're going to definitely read over this. And we're going to keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps. So we're doing an in-place upgrade. Making sure you're ready to install. This screen is kind of familiar to those of not uh, well, this screen has actually not changed since Windows 8. So Windows 10 and 11 use literally about the exact same setup process. And it will stay on the screen for a little bit since, yeah, every screen says this will take a few minutes. Well, except for the product case screen. And we'll, yeah, well, there's only a few screens that say this might take a few minutes. Or this might be the only one. All right, so what needs your attention? So we are going out to uninstall the USB 3.0 extensible host control driver and the Trend Micro Titanium Internet Security. I was gonna do that anyway. Um, and it luckily does give you the option to uninstall both of these, so we are going to go ahead and do so. The reason being is because it says it's not compatible with Windows 8. No, we will restart later. And we gotta uninstall this here, which I was dying to do a little bit. I just didn't get around to it in the first video. I was about to say, apparently it opened, but okay. So that's interesting. Upgrading from the factory install Windows 7 from the Dell is not possible without modifications. And you guys also saw that we need to restart the PC to even continue the installation. So chances are we're probably gonna have to restart the installation process. So 
So I'm gonna get my uh, product key card back out, or yeah, <laughs> my key card. And you guys and I will see it, but it says Windows Defender is out of date. All right. I'm pretty sure it's done now. We just need to restart. Because yes. All right, restart later, and we're gonna have to restart. So that's kind of a bit annoying, but hey, it's expected. All right, so it's just gonna boot off the SSD here. All right. All right, so now we're back and it says, continue from where I left off or start over from the beginning, which I did not think it was gonna do this. So we're just gonna continue from where we left off. Now I was gonna, okay, U UAC came up again. All right, and we're back on the making sure you're ready to install page. So it's just gonna do this and so, so what this basically is is a final check of like making sure your PC has enough space and that all of the requirements are met and that everything will be compatible with Windows 8 and here we go. Let's uh, install Windows 8 Pro which is the version we have here and keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps. So at this point it's just a simple install so all we gotta do is just hit install Screen turns purple and it says your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. And we don't get a percentage up up there like we do. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's already 10% complete. Um, and again, this doesn't change from Windows 10 and 11. So, pretty unique. <laughs> So now it's restarting. Man, it, I don't know why Windows likes to stay on the, um, I don't know why Windows likes to stay on that screen that's like, um, your PC will restart in a few moments for like 10 minutes, it seems like. Oh, it's rebooting again. Oh, because it's, oh, because it's doing it off the SSD. All right, getting devices ready. All right, and now we have the proper display resolution. Um, and it is worth noting that this PC, as you guys saw in the original video on this on this machine, is um, UEFI supported. So if I really wanted to, I could do a clean install with um, UEFI support. And now it's in the getting ready phase here.
and it's re I think this is the last reboot. And if it is, I can take out the DVD. All right, and now it's moving your settings. Yes, because this is an upgrade, it's um, basically transferring our settings over to Windows 8. And it's done. Alright, and I'm pretty sure there's one more reboot after this, I don't know. I haven't done a Windows 7 to Windows 8 upgrade in a while, so this is kind of new to me. Oh, uh, we're here. All right, so let's choose our color. Uh, let's do that. I always like the lighter tan. Uh, hang on a minute. All right, so Express Settings, we're going to use the Express Settings. Sign into your PC. Okay, skip this to continue using your Windows Tech account. I'm gonna do that for now, but I am going to um, add my own account into this like later. We should get the high screen pretty shortly here. Or did it just soft lock itself? Oh, there it is. Okay, it just took a while. All right, I'm gonna take out the DVD. And big giveaway here, this is also a, um, not, not Windows 8.1. It tells you about the charms menu. And again, we've seen this before because I have several OEM PCs that actually have Windows 8 pre-installed. And yes, Windows 8, not Windows 8.1. And already, let's start. <laughs> okay. And yes, it does open the um, um, it does open the start screen because that is by default. Here's the desktop, which pretty similar as before, but there's no start button, and that's because everybody was what what yeah that's it's because Microsoft um plan to make this a more touch-friendly OS, and, well, guess how that went? Horribly. All right, and it looks like we have, um, and it looks like the build is still activated. Okay, um, refresh and remove everything, all right. Perfect, so, yeah, I think we're good to go here. So that's all I really wanted to do today was just to uh, upgrade to Windows 8 from Windows 7 just to show you guys how that would have been like in 2012. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.